everybody. Welcome. <laughs> Dr. Gold with Inspired Stretch here for you to stretch out that icky back. <laughs> Ready to get started? Happy holidays first. Oh, how's everybody doing? Let's raise up all the way up. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Now, if your back is like, oh, yeah, yeah, what are you doing to me? Just gently move that body. Gently, gently. Inhale and exhale. Let's go side to side right now. Inhale and exhale. Good. And we're going to just gently sway side to side. Good. Nice deep breath in. And let's wave those arms. So wave one arm over and then the other. Good. Inhale and exhale. Good. So I have a question for you today. I did my simple graph, so I'll show it to you. <laughs> see if you can see it here. Right here. So it asks you, which direction are you heading right now in your health? Are you going up, moving to uplift the body? Are you getting closer? <laughs> yes, closer to your grave. So paying attention, each decision we make now determines our future. Remember what you focus on. Be mindful of that. It may come true. Let me say that again. Be mindful or be careful of what you focus on. It may come true. <laughs> so I'm saying this in a good light. If you really are focusing on health, getting stronger, healthier, awesome. But if you really have been kind of slipping, and I get it, it's holiday time, eating some sugary foods or indulging in a lot of alcohol or anything, it's okay to start now. You don't have to wait to New Year's to say, oh, wait for the new year and start getting healthy then. Remember, as we mature, we have less reserve. And I've had some patients, they've told me they kind of indulged a little too far and got, were getting themselves sick. So that's not fun. One person ended up in the hospital. So anything we can avoid, you know, we know during holiday time, it can be challenging period for many people. So this is that time to motivate, inspire you to make good choices for yourself. And it's never too early to make those healthy choices. So even today, there are some healthy substitutions. If you're getting those sugar cravings, which I get, some dates, figs, or my go-to or Lara bars, really easy to just buy those and take those with you especially if you're gonna be taking a road trip somewhere or doing something. Let's open up those arms. Good. So today I did wanna to focus on some of the mid back. And of course we'll get to low back and neck. But mid back is an important area. Sometimes we forget to work on. So, oh, so mid back, kind of right underneath the shoulder blades, right below, right above the kind of rump, if you will. So that area behind that bra line for the ladies, behind the chest. So we're gonna just kind of wrap, watching from the side, wrap and open. So arms pour down and open up for gratitude. Inhale and exhale. Good. Let's do this again. Good. One more time. Oh, it feels so good. Give yourself a big hug, a big hug. <laughs> nice big hug here. Rotate those elbows around and rotate in the other direction. Good. Reach those arms all the way up, 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 up. Good. And we're going to reach forward. So half forward bend. And then open up. We're going to reach forward. And then half bend. So if you have a bench, you can use it right now. And any of the bench is really good. We should. Um, can stretch at our hamstrings, which we know if your hamstrings are tight, it can pull on the back. So the back of those thighs make sure stretched out. So you can place your leg on the bench, a little bend in the knee, lift, lift, lift. Big smile here. We're gonna reach, reach, reach. Ha ha ha. Feel those hips moving. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness. Bend that knee, bend that knee, and hold. Try to keep the knee over the ankle. Open up that hip for funky. Pigeon. We're going to do a modified funky pigeon here. Let's feel the nice stretch in that inner thigh. Belly forward. 
So reach with the belly button, not the shoulders. <gasps> you can do it. Good, reach back. Good, and then forward again. Shake the body. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> shake the body. So rotate around again. There we go, and the other way. So one thing I was actually thinking about with the new year around the corner is a vision board, a vision board for your health. So actually something you can put up, look at regularly, daily, to see if you're heading towards the direction you want to go. And oftentimes I get patients say, Dr. Gold, I just want to lose some weight. But be specific. I mean, I can give you a laxative and you'll lose a pound or two. But is that really what you want? So thinking of that underlying goal, getting to the bottom or root cause, if you're not feeling well, if you're having trouble losing weight, have you checked your hormones? Have you checked your gut? Remember, I'm a functional medicine doctor. If you need help with that, please message me. I'm happy to help you with some answers, get to the, the cause of what's happening, not just guessing, and being proactive in your health, not just reactive, not waiting for something to happen, but being um, taking initiative, doing something that you can control or things that we can, you know, figure out if you are needing certain nutrients in your body, getting those now. <laughs> Let's go to the other side of the leg. So we're gonna place that leg on the bench. If you don't have a bench, just extend it out. Lift, lift, lift. So lengthen that spine, feel the belly button reaching towards the thigh, feel the hips reaching back. If you like, you can place your thumb in the crease of that hip and reach your back. Oh, it feels so good. Rock those hips side to side. Good, bend the knee and open, and then reach forward. Bend the knee and open and reach forward. Good. I want you to take another nice deep breath in. Good. And a little warm now. Deep breathing. A wardrobe change here. All right. We're going to bend that knee again, open up those arms, reach forward. Good. One more time. Good. And from here, we're just going to rock those hips. So just feel those hips circling around. Good. And the other way, circle around. Good. There we go. Oh. We have not done a little facial yoga today, so we're going to do that. So big cheeks, raise the corners, bottom lip over your top lip. Good. And we're going to pulse that bottom lip up, 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 up. Good. Rock those jaw side to side. Ah, surprise face right now. Ah! <laughs> So what are you looking forward to for 2021? What's your vision board looking like? What do you want on there for the new year? It's been a crazy year. I get it. It's been rough for a lot of people. I'm going to say the world. I mean, it's, we've had a global pandemic. We have been isolated, masked. There's been crazy stuff. But I did come up with a COVID top 10. And I'd love for you to add to this list. The doctor in the hat. Doctor in the hat. Doctor in the hat. <laughs> He's a little chilly. We do like chilly. a little um, hot right now. Let's give you a hot. Let's give a higher price. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me fix you. <laughs> I could do this. <laughs> so I was coming up with my COVID top 10. As we're doing this, actually, let's just rotate those palms. So for number one. Zoom. Oh, Zoom. Yeah, you had to get used to Zoom, definitely. A lot of my patients were not used to Or that. FaceTime on iPhone. FaceTime. Anything that lets you keep in touch with somebody with video. Yes, and that's important. Doxy. Critical. Critical, critical. But I did get a little zoomed out with all this stuff. It is easy to get Zoom overload. <laughs> Let's yes. be fishy. Just rotating. Very feel easy the, to have Zoom overload. Feel the stretch between the shoulder blades. The other thing that I would say highlight for me was spending time with my hubby. And time to spend with friends, people that were close by. And obviously, we still kept our distance, but having time dinner with my husband, come up. As long as I cook it. <laughs> yeah, he was cooking. 
back to the hands together, rotate back and rotate forward. There we go. So one more time. Good. We're gonna do a little facial yoga now. We're gonna puff those cheeks. And we're gonna pop it, okay? On the count of three. Oh, you did it so quickly. <laughs> one, two, three. Let's do that again. One more time. There you go. Good. And we're gonna do some gentle massages in those cheeks. Okay, can you not see him? No, you're I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So what we're doing is massaging over the brows just to relax those lines on the forehead. So we've been working just, you know, as we get older, our, mm. we can get some creases. By the way, oh, yeah. happy holidays. Yay. Happy see. New Year. <laughs> happy New Year. Okay, so place your hands on your forehead. We're actually going to gaze up. And if you feel crinkles in your hands, just try to relax the forehead lines. Relax those lines. Now you can always create them first to see what they feel like. And now relax. Sometimes when we look up, we tend to crease those brows, but you can actually look up by opening your eyes more. So that can make a difference. Oh, sorry. Don't wake okay, up. to yawn. <laughs> Open the eyes wide. And what we're going to do is some eye exercises. Really helps with vision. So remember those muscles, there are um, muscles all surrounding the eyeballs, the eye sockets. And we're going to look up, down, look to your right and then look to your left. Okay, let's do that again. Look up, look down, look to your right, and look to your left. Now, I know we don't have like a measuring stick, you know, out here, but I want you to see the distance. Just kind of put your hand out and look directly at your hand. And now I want you to pretend double that length. If you have your computer screen or something in front of you, just look towards that. And now I want you to look way past that. So pretend there's no walls. Just look as far out as you can. Look closer and a little closer. So we'll keep coming in a few feet in. And then look nearby. See if you can look at your nose. Good. Can you look at your toes? Can you look up again? And then in the distance. Good. It's actually good to practice depth. That'll also help for, um, strengthen the vision as well because you're working those muscles the distance and close by. There's something called tracing where you trace outlines of things. So if there's something in your room, you just want to look around it, look around, look around, and trace the lines. Good. Oh, shake it, shake it. Shake it. You doing? I had to say hi to my kitty. Oh, I know. She she's us join us. Today. She's on the other side of the computer screen. Okay, so what we're going to do now is lengthen and we're going to actually massage out our back. So let's gently turn around for a moment, just kind of massage out that mid back. Good. And just kind of rotate those hips side to side. Go. Shake the hiney. Shake your hiney. My hiney don't shake. <laughs> shake your hiney. <laughs> Good. And I'm going to massage our neck. So I have, I don't know about you, but I get a trigger point right here. And it's all oh, right there. Yeah. <laughs> your buddy. Here's your pal. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So it feels so good when I press on it, because if I don't, if it gets really tight, it leads to headaches right above my eye. So and if you feel that, if you have something similar, know that you can start to release it. Do you make sure you're hydrating water? Very, very important. Make sure we're getting enough water. If you need minerals, remember there's testing for that, so you can actually identify if you need magnesium. Most magnesium is, in our is not in our blood, it's in our bones and our muscles. So if you just do a, a typical magnesium blood test, you're not gonna identify if you're magnesium deficient. So there are specialized tests you can do to identify that. Ooh, we're shaking. Can you see it shaking? Is that That's cat? our cat scratching. <laughs> She's scratching. Sorry, it's not an earthquake. <laughs> We're in Florida. Our there. cat's just scratching and she's leaning up against oh, the Oh, that's hilarious. Stand. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is just pressing the kind of the base of that neck. It's right in the upper traps. And then just circle the head around. Really circle the head. Ooh, that feels good. And then the other direction. Don't forget to smile. Smile. Get cheeky. Good. And now we're going to place our fingers in the back of the head. And I want you to lengthen. So feel the spine all the way up the spine, all the way up the neck. Lengthen as long as you can. Open up those elbows. Open up, open up. 
And then what we're going to do is just gently lift, 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 and reach gently over and over to the other side. So it should feel a nice stretch in that side waist and back. If you're able to just circle around, but keep pressing into those fingers. Now, if your fingers get tired, your shoulders start to hurt, you can keep your arms down. That's okay. Just try to rotate if possible, lengthening the spine. And then the other way. Oh, just so good. Keep breathing. Again, big smile here. Now we're going to work on our neck. So I just want you to reach the ear towards the shoulder, but lengthen that side waist. And I don't want you to cramp down on the area you're stretching towards. So lengthen both sides of the waist. Feel the ribs reaching away from one another, lengthening, and over to the other side. So we lift up first and then reach over. So I don't try to cramp down. You see I'm cramping here? Don't want to do that. Lengthen between the ribs. Lengthen, lengthen those muscles, those intercostal muscles. Lengthen them and then reach, reach, reach. Shoulder, you could do it. <laughs> okay, big smile here. And then we're going to gently twist. So you're going to turn one elbow over and then the other. Oh, that feels good. Do it again. You could do it. And lengthen back one more time. Inhale. Oh, bottom lip over your top lip. Good, reach all the way over to the side. Again, raise those quarters and smile. <laughs> Giggle if you like. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Remember, we're laughing to feel happy. Starting your day with a beautiful smile, with a laugh. Oh, it's a great precedence for the rest of the day. Good, and shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Good. Feel free to. Yeah. Just kind of do this, snap those fingers, there we go, and then rotate those arms, rotate those arms, good, one more time, the other way, there we go, good, we're just going to gently step one leg back and then the other, so we're going to a little workout in our legs here, so I just want you to step back and step forward, step back and forward. There we go. Just like that, like a little salsa. You do a little salsa with me. Just start with the right leg, step forward and back. There we go. We're going to switch sides now. Step forward and then step back. Whee! There we go. Rock those hips. <laughs> Who knew, right? You never know in this class. <laughs> I get it. Rock those hips again. Circle around. So I was going to share something. I was in the car you yesterday. Like too. <laughs> and I was driving and I had a choice. Um, the news was on. I could have turned on that channel or I can, I had a playlist of fun music and I was just ready to rock it out. So you can also yell at the people around you. <laughs> you could, like you could. That's what you do. Oh, <laughs> it's a good release. So I put my music on. I literally, the first song was Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Ain't no valley low enough. And I was like, woo! And then girls just want to have fun. Oh, <laughs> and I was just belting out that I can't sing, but I enjoy singing. That has to be one of my least favorite songs. <laughs> it was so much fun. Such an 80s. It was a total 80s song. <laughs> song. Okay, so with the leg now, we're going to just gently rock it back and forth. Move the bench if we need to. Yeah, yeah don't kick it. And then we're going to be Ooh. moving. I know. This is good for that hip. Remember when My the hamstrings. hips are tight or the hamstrings are tight, it'll pull on the back. It's really good. And it can also pull on your knees. So the whole body's connected, as we know. If one area is tight, it can affect the rest of the body. So really good to loosen up, loosen up, and it releases. We're going to go side to side now. Go side to side. Woo. Now remember, if you need a break, take it. If it's way too easy, you can always get on your tippy toes. Try to do that. A little more challenging. <laughs> and then we're going to rotate that leg around. Oh, I know. Rotate it around. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah. That adductor, those inner thigh muscles can get pretty tight, and this is a great stretch for them. Good. Shake it out. And feel free. Let's tap. If you ever get spasms, and I did this a few days ago, my husband's like, don't tell this on camera, but I'm going to still say it. 
I actually commanded my leg to relax. I was like, it was my calf. I literally just tightened up and I was like, stop. And I just took a moment. I lifted my leg because it was hanging dangling off the bed. I lifted it up, took three deep breaths. Just breathe into the area. I realized also afterwards, because it was so cramped, I couldn't move it, but I needed to stretch and drink water because that day before I wasn't hydrating as well. So listen to your body. If again, if something's not feeling right, listen and you got to, you know, mo mo uh, modify anytime if something's not working. But it's amazing when you just, and believe it's going to work. Obviously, if you say this is not going to work, it won't. But I just said, yes, it's going to relax. And I just breathed, did my meditation. And the muscles started to release. Yay! Just took a few minutes versus like an hour or me crawling to the bathroom, which kind of sucks. <laughs> okay, so leg up and back. Good. Woo, feels good. Now side to side. There we go. Just kind of gently. What, it, what would you call this? Tend like, to love swimming. Oh, that's great. That's it. You can hold on if you need to. There we go. Woo! Good. Move your leg like a pendulum back and forth. <laughs> That's a good thing. Good analogy. Okay. On your next breath, we're going to bend the knee. You know I keep you around for a reason. <laughs> Rotate around. I know, I know. Do your best here. Hang in there. Keep going. You can do this. Oh, it feels good. I know. I'm a little stiff, too. I was working and kind of sitting for a while. So. Oh, I see <laughs> Behind the, we the gotta stand, show the cat. Take a yeah, this. take a picture. She's she's cleaning Why herself. Why don't you turn it around for a moment? So she's just, get a her picture legs her. just sticking out. <laughs> yeah, but go ahead and take show it to her. Show them our, our little kitty. So her leg is just sticking. Oh, uh, it's not coming no, out very show well. Show it around. Show it. Around. This is Bella. <laughs> Out with us. <laughs> now, she was a rescue cat and basically when we first got her lived under our bed for the first six months seven months yeah. came out to eat and poop and that was about it and we've had them now for probably five years yeah. and she's just over the past few months awesome. started to really come out and hang out with us and it's been really really nice you know, she even tells us when she wants our attention, which is <laughs> very unusual. Normally, we she way. would come up and say something, and then she would walk away. Wow. And now she think. comes up, sits down, says something, and wants us to come up and pet her. So I she's like actually becoming much more of a cat. Much more sociable, I should say. Bend the elbow. But that was why you saw the screen shaking earlier, because she was scratching <laughs> her head. And she's leaning right up against the stand that we used to. So I'm holding up to the elbow. I know that's so sweet. Just put your hand behind and circle around. Go the other way. Oh, that's good. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Got my hot. So elbow back first. Cool. That feels so good. Mm -hmm. If you can hold you up to stretch the elbow. Like this when you're swimming. Yeah, that's a good stretch. And the other way. Now I'm going to reach the arm all the way across. <clears throat> I feel a nice stretch in that outer deltoid mm. right now. That's what right here. Mm -hmm. Good. So just kind of get a little stretch in our hands too. <coughs> so this is the thenar eminence, the muscle that gets used every time we flex the thumb or when we're gaming or pressing on the remote. So we're going to press, massage that muscle. And then on the other side, it's called the anatomical snuff box because the pathologists used to put their snuff here, the cadavers. So it's a little V shape between the index and thumb. We're actually going to be pressing on the back of the hand and then the front. And that meaty part might feel a little tight. How's that feeling for you? Yeah. So what you can do is if you have some a partner today, or you can do it on yourself, you can actually press on their hand. How's that feel? I know. And sometimes, if, especially if they have big, strong hands, they can press really hard for you. I know. Sorry, sorry. But they, they can get pretty deep in there, but not too deep. You don't want to, you know, hurt them or anything. But it's just want to make them cringe. <laughs> yeah. So I can make them cringe very easily. Yeah. Sure. There it is. 
No, that one's not that tight. Oh, yeah. This, there it is. There, there you go. go. Okay, you like <laughs> But it, it feels good. To, once it's done, it feels like, ah, oh, it feels so good. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing it on yourself, just gently kind of get in there. Don't go crazy, but just really get mm -hmm. that nice massage in there. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> do, do the other side if you haven't done so already. Massage out that thumb. Get some water, honey. Good. Okay, and then interlace those fingers, rotate around, rotate around. Good. And then back to the hands together. Good. And just push those fingers down and the thumb. Oh, that's so good. Fingers down and the thumb. Okay. We are going to be coming down to Shavasana. So if you're new to yoga, Shavasana is final relaxation. About it's, time. <laughs> it's his favorite part. <laughs> It is a time that we completely quiet the mind, we relax, let go. If you've had a long day or a long week or anything like that, this is that time to settle in. Give yourself permission to relax and be happy. Give yourself permission to unwind and say, ah, oh, this is my time. And we all need it. 10 minutes, 10 minutes every day just for you. You highly deserve that. And it's amazing when you... You know, sometimes it's something so small that can make a huge difference. So we give ourselves time every day for ourselves so we can give back to other people. We know, I know with busy moms, busy dads, we sometimes on the go all the time and we're like, oh, I don't have time. I don't. But if you don't stretch, you don't stretch your body, it stiffens up. And then ask yourself, how much time is that if I need to go to the doctor or I need to get an injection or be on pain medicine or out of work because my body's stiff? So this is that time to say, yes, I'm just going to stretch for 10 minutes because it's worth it. I'm worth it. And I'm going to feel fabulous, fabuloso. And I can do so many great things with my body. <laughs> and you feel better. Oh, it feels good to come back. So there's different ways you can come down. I know I just kind of plopped to the floor. But if you want to do Utkatasana or chair pose, this is sitting back. Bring it down just a little bit. Look at my legs. You can bring it closer. Bend it forward. There we go. Sit, sit, sit. So tush is back. Weight is in the heels. You can point. Show my feet. My toes are lifted. I'm wearing socks because I'm cold. And then from here, you can slowly come down. You can use your hands to get to the floor. And I'm doing a squat, which is really good for the pelvic muscles. It's good for if you um, suffer with incontinence or have that leakage. Yes, I know we don't like to talk about it, but as we... Get older, if you've had babies, sometimes that for those ladies, stuff can start dripping out. <laughs> it's not fun. But if you do have that, it's great to strengthen those muscles. They call it Kegel exercises. So you can do this when you're in your squat, you're strengthening those pelvic muscles. Same for the guys, really important to strengthen those muscles. It'll release the low back and work those inner thighs as well. <sighs> and we are going to sit down now. Come on, Mr. Gold, Professor Gold, Dr. Gold. Okay. All right, and he's going to lie on me. <laughs> so come to a comfortable position for you. That might be in a chair. That might be lying down or sitting, whatever is easy for you. I know, they're cold, so they can warm up on you. <laughs> so I'm going to take a nice deep breath in. Ah, soften your eyes and relax your jaw. Soften the fingers and toes. Next breath, see if you can just grow a little bit taller and sink into whatever is touching the ground. <coughs> this is that time to go to your paradise, to your area <coughs> of serenity and peace. On your next breath, we're going to do a gentle twist. So if you're lying down, you can bring your knees into your chest and just rock those knees all the way over oh. to one side. Oh, that's burnt. My hand's trying to loosen up. Are you able to bend them over or no? I'm trying to loosen it up right, all right now. All right, because I was going to show them with you bending. Yeah, so both knees are bent and he's reaching all the way over to the side. So you can see it. There we go. You can relax your hands if you want to open that chest. That'll release that back. Turn your head in the other direction of the knees. Good. Inhale and then 
reach all the way over to the other side. Yeah, we got a nice job. Good. If you're sitting, just gently twist in the other direction. Spine nice and long here. Good. Bring those knees into your chest. Good. Good. Little circles in those knees. If you're sitting, just gently circle around. Feel that stretch in that low back. Again, smiling. Don't forget to smile. So I cue the smile because it releases endorphins. When we release endorphins, we know those are natural pain relievers. It helps us relax and feel good. It also relaxes the muscles, which is what we're doing all this. So really important, if we relax those muscles, we feel better. So we want to feel great. We want to lengthen and open up the body. We're going to keep breathing. So if you're just tuning in right now, you may want to consider creating a vision board for 2021, your intentions. And each moment, each day, asking yourself, am I heading in the direction I want to go? And if you're not, how can I start? Remember, it's just like driving. If we're going the wrong way, we can turn around. <laughs> Same with our health. If we're going to mess up at times. That's being normal, but we don't have to stay there. We don't have to feel stuck or use it as an excuse for not changing. So remember all the decisions you made up to now got you where you are today. So what decisions are you going to make? To get you to where you want to go. If you're where you are, awesome. But if you're not heading those directions, you got to switch some things up. And that's again part of growth, opportunity, and learning from ourselves. <laughs> okay, let's take another nice deep breath in. If you're in Shavasana, you can gently roll over, gently come back up. If you're lying down to a seated position. Or not. <laughs> I'm going to stay alive. <laughs> I'm okay. comfortable now. That's okay. <clears throat> I'm going to grow a little bit taller again. Take another nice deep breath in. Yeah, we're going to bring both hands to our forehead for guidance, for wisdom, for a beautiful 2021. Oh, and you know what? I wanted to add a little bit to the COVID, uh, my top 10 COVID stuff. So, for me, yes, it was a crazy year, but I wanted to add some highlights that I did get benefit this year. And I did finish my book, Woohoo! Seven Habits of Extremely Happy People. Do my little woohoo dance, woohoo, woohoo. So it's on Amazon and you can get it through Kindle or hardcover, um, hard copy version. In addition, I um, got to spend time with my hubby. That was, I think, number, number one, of course, family time. Zoom. I learned how to do it. I know it's been something that the medical profession was trying to get into and now we've kind of by kind of forced into it with all the stuff that's happening. So that I a lot of my patients are learning how to do that or if it's doxy doximity or doxy.me, there's different versions of it. Uh what else? Uh time for walks. I've been having more time for reflection, less commutes, and more uh creative cooking time. <laughs> So those are some He's of my highlights. Cooking? He's done the cooking. <laughs> so those are some of my highlights. What are yours? Feel free to add that in the chat. If there have been any good things that happened this year. If not, you can mention those. But let's mention some of the highlights of this year as well. And thank God we've been staying well and I'm working to stay healthy. And I, I love sugar just like you. So I've been working. I'm not going to say I've not had any sugar this year. I have. But just try not to eat in excess. <clears throat> And trying to do my healthy substitution. So I try to do my best, um, make uh, decisions, most good healthy decisions most of the time. So again, doing your best to keep you well this year and next year and the years to come. All right, let's take another nice deep breath in. If you feel comfortable, raise your arms all the way overhead. Oh, exhale down. Good, inhale up again. And exhale down. Whew. Well, you did a marvelous job. So happy you tuned in. It does make a huge difference to see people stretching and release, relieving their body and giving me the honor to serve you today. Mm -hmm. If there's anything else I can do, I do honor requests and do my best for them. Uh, different areas you want to work on, things you want to learn, let me know. And just want to wish you again, happy, happy holiday. Where is our little sign? Where did I send them, Mr. Dodd? Oh. Get this up again. 
I forgetting you to get up. I thought it was right here. Ah, I did. I'm sorry. Happy holidays. Come on in. Happy, happy holidays. holidays. Have a safe and happy new year, everybody. Yay. Sending lots of love from the gold. <laughs> Back to gold. Doodles. Doodles. Mwah. Live optimally. It's Dr. Gold. Back to Gold Optimal Living Institute. Have a beautiful day and be well this year mm -hmm. and next year too. <laughs>